Research on how wind farms could be used to create clean, renewable energy, especially on abandoned coal mines in eastern Kentucky. But you may be surprised to know where a new study found the highest wind speeds in the Commonwealth to be. Meteorologist Carrie Hall tells us more in today's Project Green report. With all of the natural resources we have here in Kentucky, from coal to sunshine to generate solar power, researchers are now beginning to look into whether or not we have enough wind to also harness to generate power. The new wind maps that were produced for the National Renewable Energy Lab do show some potential for wind development in Kentucky. The maps give a really good overview of what the resource is in the country. It provides us an opportunity to compare our resource to other states. But to determine if a project is feasible from an economic standpoint, we would need to do further analysis. Other states are using and thriving with wind farms. You'll see some wind development in Indiana, Ohio, Illinois. Uh, there's a small project in Tennessee as well. Primarily where the real strong wind resource is is in the Midwestern part of the country. The ideal average wind speed for turbines is at least nine miles an hour, and a recent study showed the highest winds in the state are near the Fayette, Scott, and Bourbon County lines, averaging about 6.5 miles an hour. Not the ideal resource for wind energy, but may be an option for individuals, especially farmers. If your interest is in saving money, then, then you need to look at how much you can actually generate from that system and what it will, how long it will take you to pay off the equipment. Many developers are looking for other types of renewable energy like power generated by moving water or biomass. But in the meantime, coal continues to power the country. In this Project Green report, I'm meteorologist Carrie Hall, WKYT 27 News First. Coal produces over 90 percent of the state's energy, and while utility-scale wind farms may not be feasible, environmentalists are looking at other natural resources for electricity.